Electrical units are named after discoverers, and you have many of their stories in your book. Who's your favorite? Ohm. Georg or uh, George Ohm. Uh, he discovered nothing less than the fundamental relationship uh, of electricity, and nobody paid any attention. Uh, he was a high school teacher who wanted to be a university professor. The only way he could get there uh, was by doing research and publish. So in 1825, at age 35, he set out to measure the relationship between current and voltage, which was not known then. Uh, he took wires of uh, different lengths, uh, connected them to batteries, and rigged a compass needle uh, which in a crude way measured the uh, level of the current. Uh, he wrote a paper about it, which he shouldn't have done. Uh, his results were quite wrong. What happened was that the batteries, which he had to make himself, uh, ran down while he was taking the measurements. Somebody suggested uh, that he use the uh, newly discovered Seebeck effect if one end of the wire is hot and the other one cold, uh, a small voltage is created, which tends to be very stable. So he repeated his measurements with one end of the wire in boiling water and the other one in ice water, and wrote a second paper and then a book. Uh, few people read the second paper and the book didn't sell. Uh, it, it, but it was mostly Ohm's fault that his research was ignored. He was simply a bad writer. The, this is his book. Uh, and if you manage to wade through the stilted German, you won't find Ohm's law. Uh, in it, uh, he writes around it in very obscure ways and it didn't help that uh, his first paper was badly flawed. It took six years for anybody to recognize what Ohm had discovered and then it was a Frenchman, not a German. Uh, within his own country acceptance was reluctant and very slow. He eventually achieved his goal and became a university professor two years before he died.